Good morning and um, welcome to another day on Reflections. Um, thank God we made it through the night. I don't know about you, but uh, for me yesterday was just, uh, was, what, what was, it was a day. Let's just put it that way. It was a day. Um, I was sharing in the morning about, you know, getting news here and there. And um, I thought that was it. And then later on in the day, I kept having news still coming in. Um, but God is good. God is good. And I want to say to you that in the midst of the storm, there is peace in Jesus. And I want you to also know that the, in the darkest of nights, there is a morning, a dawn, a light that is going to come through. So I'm encouraging myself in the Lord. I want you to encourage yourself in the Lord too. Believe me, these are testing times. There are times when our very, very faith is being tested. This is the time like when Paul said, we are pressed on every side. On every side we are being pressed. There's so much pressure. There's so much going on all around us. Um, but what does the Lord say? He said, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. No matter what may be happening outside, in your environment, all around you, and no matter the battle that may be raging inside of you, I want you to understand that he that is in us is greater than whatever is going on around us and whatever is raging inside of us. And the best part of it all is that the one who is in us like I said, is greater than he that is in the world. The one who is in us, his shalom, peace, and therefore, he has the power to speak peace to our hearts, so that even in the midst of the storm, our hearts are at rest, our hearts are at peace. If you haven't done so yet, I want you to go ahead right now and share, share, start a watch party because of course, as usual, the Lord has something good to say to us. And again, for people who don't have Facebook, tell them, they can always go on YouTube. It's always posted on YouTube after we are done the live recording. Today, I want to say to us, enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you turn your Bible to Luke chapter 13, Luke chapter 13, verse 16, Luke 13, verse 16, the Lord said something. I know we've read this so many times, so many times, but this morning it struck a chord in me. And it says, here is the Lord speaking. If you have a red letter edition Bible, it will be in red. So it's Jesus himself saying this. He said, shouldn't this daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath? Shouldn't this daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound, Think of it. Satan has bound her for 18 years. And he asks a question. He says, shouldn't she be loose from this bond on the Sabbath? Now, the people who, were, who the Lord Jesus was talking to, they didn't say to him, don't heal her. They were saying, don't do it on the Sabbath. Sabbath is our day of rest. 
And, well, I know in the back of their mind, they probably also didn't want her to be healed at all. Because by healing her, everyone could see that Jesus was indeed Lord. Affirming that he was the Son of God who had the power to perform miracles. They didn't want any of that because they had their own agenda. I didn't start reading from the beginning because of time. But here's the word that the Lord Jesus used. He said hypocrites. Hypocrites. Don't you do this for your donkeys, your animals on the Sabbath? How much for this daughter of Abraham? Shouldn't she be healed on any day including the Sabbath? Irrespective of your religion, your rituals, your, your, your taboos, your prejudices, your, your biases, shouldn't this daughter of Abraham be loose from a bondage of 18 years? Hypocrites. And I could go on and on. But because I want us to be real this morning, this is not really where, uh, what I want to say now isn't really what I have to say at the end because I will still come back to what I really need to say to you because I want to talk to you especially today. But the Lord was saying, you are hypocrites. You are asking people, you are asking me not to help someone who needs help because it's the wrong day to do it. But if it were you, you will help yourself even on the Sabbath day. So please don't be carried away by the politics that is going on all around us. When people say disregard social distancing, disregard taking precautions, you don't need to put on a mask, you can go wherever you like, you don't need to keep yourself safe. The people who are saying that to you are keeping safe. Everyone around them is being tested. They themselves are being tested every day. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Don't listen to them. Jesus did not have good words for them at all. I know you are more sensible than that. And I know you will take care of yourself. The God of heaven has kept us this far. Believe me, we are all standing today by his grace. What a good God. He is the one who said that it will not come near us. It may destroy us. He said a thousand may fall by your side, ten thousand by your right. He said it will not be your portion. So rest assured, you just do what you are supposed to do because God is watching over you. And like I said, at the beginning of all this, judgment is coming. You just wait and see. It has already started. Exposure is coming. It's, it has already started. But judgment is coming. And Jesus said, this daughter of Abraham bound for 18 years, should she not be loosed? We, people have been bound for over 400 years. It's the time to be loosed. But now to be more, to, to come to what I wanted to share with you today. The Lord said, shouldn't this daughter of Abraham who has been bound for 18 years, shouldn't she be loosed? So, remember I said today, we are looking at enough is enough. If you have been wondering, why am I going, why, Lord, why, why, why? Why does it go on and on and on? It does not stop. Why is God doing this to me? Because many times when things happen, we talk to God and say, God, it's you. Why is God allowing people to die? Why is God... Here, yeah, the Lord is saying, He said to these people, 
He said, shouldn't this daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound for 18 years? That tells you right there that those long-term problems are the work of the devil. They are not from God. So when people come to you and say, oh, um, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, ah, 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 that is wrong doctrine. It's the devil that is at work. It's not God. But look at what the Lord said. He said, shouldn't she be loosed after 18 years? And he said, Satan has bound her. It is the devil who bound her, afflicting her, oppressing her, tormenting her. And Jesus said, shouldn't she be loosed? Remember that by this time, he had already spoken healing to her. As I speak healing to you today, as I speak deliverance to you today, Jesus was her advocate. He is your advocate. He is the defender of the defenseless. He was defending her. She couldn't defend herself. These big people were saying, no, 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 today is not the right day. Well, what day is the right day to help the oppressed? When is the right day to help the oppressed? Is it now? Now, not even now is the right time. And they were saying, no, 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 it's Sabbath, come back tomorrow. He's the defender of the defenseless, he's defending you. He's the helper of the helpless, he's helping you. The devil is the author of evil. Jesus says it very clearly here. He says, shouldn't this daughter of Abraham? And he said, daughter of Abraham, which means that even as a believer, as a good child of God, the devil may still afflict. However, Jesus is your advocate. He's the defender of the defenseless. He's the helper of the helpless. He said, shouldn't she? be loosed from this bondage of the devil on the Sabbath. Every day is a day of deliverance. Every minute is a minute of deliverance. God wants to see you free. And I speak liberty to you today. So if you are saying enough is enough, I want you to know that God has your back. And if the devil has had you bound all these years, Jesus is saying, it's time to be loosed. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Friday is our day of prayer. We are going to pray more on this. It's going to be our prayer point. You know anyone who has been bound, afflicted by the devil, just continually having issues. Friday we are going to pray. But even now, I want you to know the power is working and some people are already getting free. Now! And if you know people, tell them, Friday, we are going to deal with these long-term issues because Jesus Christ is the one advocating for you. Good morning, everyone. It's Reflections with Fumi Ogilano. <laughs>